Hey guys, Sherry here from Lone Fox Skipping Crew. How's it going? Ooh, I just looked at the time and it's 5.55. Alright, so this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for July the 21st until the 28th. So I'm going to be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. I also picked up the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart, but I'll be using that for the Divine uh, Masculine or Feminine. Um, so I'm also going to be using my cards. Let me give those a quick shuffle. So yeah, I'm back from the wedding. It was amazing. Oh my god. Jessica was a very beautiful bride and my son was so handsome. I'm so very happy for them. But the, the fires in BC and Alberta the smoke was really bad when we were driving. All right, anyway, let's begin here. So, starting with the feminine past position, recognition and reward, three pentacles. So this is talking about um, a stable foundation, a grounding, um, feeling you know like you've achieved, accomplished a lot, and so you're being recognized for it. Uh, so it's illumination being placed on a pedestal, but there's still more work to be done. So let's pull some clarifiers. Throat chakra, base chakra, and ten of swords. So um, there's past, present, and future positions here. So in the past position, we have the throat chakra. So communication. So very important communication occurred um, that not only, you know, grounded a successful beginning in the 3D, um, but it also created this safe, secure um, energy, you know, uh, a feeling like you're being grounded really is all that I can see. You, gotta, you have to apologize. I mean, I have to apologize. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little out of practice here. It's been two weeks since I last did a reading, so my bad. And I just want to also let um, those of you know who are waiting for some readings, um, I'll be on that probably tomorrow. So I'll throw a little extra candy on them for you because you waited for me. And I appreciate that so very much. Okay, so throat chakra, communication, open, honest communication, base chakra, present moment. Um, and remember, this is all the past, right? So base chakra, safety, security, balance, um, grounding. And then the future position, we got the Ten of Swords. So this is an ending, a completion, uh, a feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, left for dead. You know, it's a very negative energy, but it's the end of pain. So that's the future. Um, so what I feel, you know, this could still be an energy that is lingering in the present moment. Um, but I feel some communication occurred that really made the feminine feel secure and hopeful um, but knowing there is still more work to do in the future uh, and feeling positive and optimistic about it uh, even though you know you know something is coming to an end it's something what I'm feeling is something that was wanted a uh, desired okay so the masculine wow the four of wands twin flame confirmation so the four of wands is 11, 11. So this is an arrival, right? It's feeling like you're getting to that moment where you've accomplished everything that you've desired um, in terms of relationships. Like you've, uh, this could represent engagement, marriage, buying a home together, but it's the twins coming together in the 3D. Um, and they're on a spiritual, you know, purpose they're, they're they're fulfilling their their spiritual calling together so a lot of grounded energy you know feeling secure feeling hopeful um but the masculines are really holding this energy of love and optimism like they've arrived and their whole future is spread out before them um yeah so let's see what else five of swords Wow, world card and the eight of swords. So a lot of sword energy here. This is thought, communication. Uh, the five of swords, past position. This is negative energy, finger pointing. You did this, you did that, right? It is 
um, making you feel like shit, basically. You know, so you're moving away from that energy and you're moving towards love uh, and, you know, completing that negative cycle. Um, so the world card is a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. So this represents going through all the stages of evolution and awakening, awareness, going through the fire many, many times. Um, so it is the last major arcana, right? The end of the fool's journey, the final piece of the puzzle has been placed. Uh, the future position is the eight of swords. So this is a mental prison. Um, but you know, with these positive cards, what I feel is that final release, especially with this Ten of Swords, it's like you're finally deciding to let yourself free. You know, put that final piece of the puzzle in place and say goodbye to negative energy, negative people once and for all. And embrace, you know, this beautiful, happy life. Okay, let me just get this out of the way here. So, for the feminine present moment, light, the sun card. This is the most positive, best major arcana to get. Um, so, you know, this is being in the spotlight, feeling illuminated, feeling, you know, these this beautiful energy raining down on you. So the feminine is really letting her light shine brightly. Sorry if you can hear kids playing outside. There's a park right in front of my house, so I have the window open. Um, so yeah, uh, so this is illumination, excitement, happy, um, um, you know, love, um, but it's abundance raining down. Nine of Wands, wow, Ace of Cups, and the Four Swords. So Nine of Wands, past position, this is the Wounded Warrior. Um, so this is being through the battle many, many times and um, you know, feeling like you want to give up, but you have the strength within you to give it that final push. So this shows me that you've been on a very tedious, long journey. Uh, the Ace of Cups is right at your present, present position. So this is um, a new offer of love, a new beginning of love. And this card only shows itself when you're truly open to receive love into your life. You've forgiven yourself, you've let go of the past, the pain, um, and you know, just really open to receiving love. So it's unconditional. The Four of Swords is in the future position. So this is rest, rejuvenation. It is. Um, you know, taking a moment to to think about your future and what you want to do, but it also represents healing your heart, finding stillness in order to make decisions and heal your heart. Um, so what I feel here is, you know, you've been through the ringer many, many times, and now it's your time to shine. Uh, and I think Spirit is just telling you to really look after yourself now, um, you know, to concentrate on yourself self-love is what I see for sure because once that ten of swords um, comes to an end then you will need to you know regain that that energy okay so the masculine present moment transformation the death card major major transformation a shift uh, so this is death of the ego death of your old life um, you know it is allowing the rotting and decay to slip away anything that no longer serves you um, is released so it's like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly right so it's a beautiful card I love this card crown chakra knight of wands and the queen of wands nice so crown chakra past position so this is illumination um, this is the direct connection um, from your crown to source basically so this is how you can download information um, um, you know and, and be connected to the collective as well so there was a moment in the masculine's past that opened him up he saw things clearly uh, this represents I know and that's what triggered this transformation this death leaving the past behind 
present moment is the Knight of Wands. This is a blast forward. You know, it's like this is the Phoenix rising, and then this is movement forward out of that fire. Um, so this has to do with spirituality, the, the Knight of Wands, uh, but it's very fiery, passionate, um, you know, taking control of the reins and just going forward. There's no stopping this kind of energy. Uh, so Wand is spirituality. Okay, so what is he moving towards? The Queen of Wands in the future position. Um, so this is the Queen of No Fucks Given. Um, so again, spirituality. But this is someone who stands out who shines her light for all to see, um, very charismatic, center of attention, um, the leader. So it's movement towards this, you know, fire energy or, um, you know, the divine feminine who is in her spirituality, who is carefree, who is, um, you know, a free spirit. Right, and that's what's attracting the male, the masculine, towards her. Okay, so near future position for the feminine, obstacles and challenges. Um, so this is small obstacles, small challenges, right? It's just a tiny little crack in the road, so it's not a big deal. Um, so there's something that she needs to overcome. Page of Pentacles divine feminine and the king of pentacles so two pentacles this is earth energy uh, but this could also represent the divine masculine in the 3d so let's move back to the page of pentacles so past position this is could represent communication in 3d but really it, it represents putting work and effort into planning for your future for a long-term goal for the ten of pentacles um, you know, this could also represent uh, a new job or moving or, you know, it's just putting plan uh, into manifesting something into the 3D. The future, or sorry, the present position is a divine feminine. So this is you, um, the feminine, being represented as a, your true authentic self, um, someone who is very deeply loving she is the goddess of love um, and what I see is just living your truth you know you've been through the fire it's your time to shine and even though there's minor obstacles in your way you can overcome that you are empowered you are divine um, so what I feel here is that you started to work towards manifesting in the past and then it becomes manifested in the future so, you know, this energy doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine, although I usually represent, or, you know, feel that it, is, it does represent the masculine. Um, this could also represent the feminine achieving that goal. Um, so this is harvest. Um, it is independence. It is actually in, uh, financial independence, but not placing a lot of importance on the 3D world. Um, now... But what I really feel is that the feminine needs to do some work, make some decisions, um, do a little planning, and it, you know, and she will overcome that obstacle. And it has to do with manifesting the masculine into her 3D. So it could be a, a reunion in the 3D. Now she could also feel that there are challenges or obstacles that are preventing her from um, making this happen. But I'm not really reading it that way, especially since this is in a future position. Okay, so um, near future for the masculine, sacral chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. Um, so this is your passions, your desires, um, and it could even represent sexuality. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Magician. So we got two pentacles again mirroring so we got the king and the queen okay so the king is showing up in the future position over here the queen is also in the future position but it's in the present moment so the ace of pentacles represents an offer a gift um, you know it could be a, you know when it's a windfall card so it could be an offer from the universe a gift of money in order to start something new in the 3d reality so because it's coming in the past position, this offer was already given. Um, so 
the present moment is the queen of pentacles um so maybe the masculine wants to offer the feminine that new beginning um and you know it has to do it, it's coming from a very emotional place um it's like he feels lit up when he when he thinks of her and this future that they could have together and i say that because of the magician in the future position this is manifesting your desires your dreams into reality and it's a very uh, empowering card because it's realizing that you can manifest you know just by thinking about it focusing your attention on an idea will manifest it into the 3d but it does require work so that's the future so an offer has been made or will be made um and you know it's it's a desire to manifest the the feminine into his 3d world or he will be making that offer to the feminine in 3d oh geez these are complicated cards um so you know what i'm gonna pull an osho zen here where are they okay whoa all right so what do you mean by those three cards i'm just gonna look at this one thunderbolt wow um so that's a tower card where's my book So that usually represents like a sudden change, comes in like a bolt of lightning, changes your reality and your world in an instant. Okay, so it says, the card shows a tower being burned, destroyed, blown apart. A man and a woman are leaping from it, not because they want to, but because they have no choice. In the background, sorry, in the background is a transparent meditating figure representing the witnessing consciousness. You might be feeling pretty shaky right now, as if the earth is rocking beneath your feet. Your sense of security is being challenged, and the natural tendency is to try to hold on to whatever you can. But this inner earthquake is both necessary and tremendously important, if you allow it. You will emerge from the wreckage stronger and more available for new experiences. After the fire, the earth is replenished. After the storm, uh, the air is clear. Try to watch the destruction with detachment almost as if it were happening to somebody else say yes to the process by meeting it halfway um so yeah sudden disruption sudden change it has to do with an offer made in the past so yeah what i'm feeling is either something happens that causes the tower and causes this change or you know the masculine might be resisting the tower but you can't stop the tower it happens whether you're ready for it or not um but it what i'm feeling here is if that does happen if the tower does come in if a decision is made or something changes drastically the masculine can handle it because he's you know emotionally balanced with the with the sacral chakra here open so again i'm feeling that sense of welcoming that so i'm gonna pull one card for the feminine side patience waiting the feminine always gets that everything has you know that gestation period so the feminine has been waiting you know and her heart chakra is open very balanced very peaceful um yeah I'm not going to bother reading that because that's that's perfect. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. Wow, throat chakra again. Remember, it was the first card, and now it is the final outcome. So this represents communication. Um, either it's listening to your own inner voice or important communication comes in. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups and the six of swords so ace of wands past position this is a brand new start go time go light uh so yeah this is a new beginning um starting from zero but it has to do with spirituality 
uh, so that's the past, right? Then the Four of Cups in the present future, our final outcome. Uh, so this is disconnect and boredom. It's feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. Um, feeling like somebody maybe turned their back on you. And then the Six of Swords in the future. This is um, moving to calmer waters, a still state of mind. But it's finally making that decision to move on. So again, with a complicated story here, a lot of thought, a lot of mm, wondering, you know, kind of having enough and just walking away. So let's pull one card for that from the Osho. Letting go, Eight of Cups. So again, there's a sense of something coming to an end in the future. So letting go, Eight of Cups. In the image of the lotus leaves in the early morning, we can see in the rippling of the water that one drop has fallen. It is a precious moment and one that is full of poignancy. In surrendering to the gravity and slipping off the leaf, the drop loses its previous identity and joins the vastness of the water below. We can imagine that it must have been trembling before it fell, just on the edge between the known and the unknowable. To choose this card is a recognition that something is finished, something is completing, whatever it is, a job, a relationship, a home you have loved, anything that might have helped you to define who you are. It is time to let go of it, allowing any sadness, but not trying to hold on. Something greater is waiting you. New dimensions are there to be discovered. You are past the point of no return now, and gravity is doing its work. Go with it. It represents liberation. Very nice. Um, so I really like that message. You know, it goes along with this letting go. The same idea. It's, you know, letting go of negative emotions, negative thoughts. And, you know, being that drop and just transforma transforming, you know, allowing that new beginning to come through. So, like I said, it has something to do with communication. All right, so final come for the masculine. New beginnings, wow. Beginning of the fool's journey here. So what I'm really feeling so far is that these final little details are being put in place. And um, it's like there will be this major release in the future. Okay, so new beginnings. So the fool card, the beginning of the fool's journey. So it's taking a leap of faith. Uh, not having any attachments, no preconceived ideas about what is going to happen. It's just trusting in destiny and just going for it. Third eye chakra, judgment, and justice. So third eye chakra, this is using your inner knowing, your intuition in order to guide you. So it's in the past position, so the mouse gun has turned in and he's listened to his own voice, um, you know, and that's helped him or will help him make a decision to take that leap of faith and have that new beginning. So this card and this card is actually kind of mirroring each other. Um, I always say that the fool is carrying that ace of wands in their hand as they take that leap of faith. Okay, so the judgment card is the grand awakening uh, so it's that major epiphany that major moment when you realize your entire life has just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind and that you have the power to create your own reality um, so you know it again it's a rebirth the phoenix rising from the ashes so the future position is the justice card, number 11. So this is karma coming back to him in a good way for making that decision. If you take that leap of faith, um, Spirit is saying that no worries, everything will work out just fine. Um, just trust and believe. All right, so what is the feminine bringing into the union? Four of sorts. Rest and rejuvenation. So this is in the future position, present moment. So she is bringing meditation, calmness, stillness. Um, she is healing her heart. She's quieting her mind. She's making decisions. 
Seven of Cups. Nine of Cups. And wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Seven of Cups, past position, confusion. Having a lot of options available, not knowing which one to choose. Um, so the message here is to follow your heart. The Nine of Cups, present moment. She feels that her wishes are coming true. Um, so this is an arrival. It is feeling happy, excited, doing what you love, being surrounded by friends, music, good music, or good wine, good food, that kind of idea. Um, so, you know, it is emotional abundance, overflowing of emotion and love. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, future position. So this is, you know, like I said, that manifestation of the Page of Pentacles. It's working hard, planning, and then having this beautiful ending manifest. So it's retirement. It is that final resting place. It is having money coming in um, and not having to worry about money, just really enjoying life. A lot of beautiful energy here, love and stability, grounding. That's what she's bringing to the union. You know, with this confusion in the past, she's surrendered. She's no longer trying to control. She's just holding love and you know, that vision of the future in her mind. What is the masculine bringing in? Truth. Wow. Judgment card again. Grand awakening. Okay. So, you know, this is realizing again that your entire life has just been a dream and that you can choose your own reality. Uh, so in the John Holland deck, this also represents making a decision and weighing your options. Um, you know, the, your decision has far-reaching consequences, so you want to really make sure that you consider everything. Wow, the King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. King of Cups, past position, so this could represent a water sign, but this is really the masculine getting in touch with his emotions, feeling love, deep love. Um, for the feminine and um, and wanting to express that the two of Pentacles is in the present moment so this is you know feeling like you need to make a decision you're being pulled in two different directions and that's why you need to really consider your choices so he's you know more or less at a crossroads um, trying to make a decision, trying to decide which way to go. And Spirit is saying to be the calm within the storm, just to allow things to unfold as they sh they will. Um, in the future position, we have the paid, or sorry, the Knight of Swords. So this is a very fast movement. And it, this could also represent an air sign, but it's um, you know the rebel without a cause. He's a champion. He comes in. He makes drastic changes. Uh, and fights for justice and then goes so it's a very quick movement so it's it's like a decision becomes made he knows what he wants and he moves forward so a lot of movement forward with the masculine again this week okay so the foundation sacrifice so this is an energy shared between both the masculine and the feminine uh, so this is surrendering letting go of control the hangman it's seeing things from a different perspective so one card for the feminine, eight of cups again, and the masculine, wow, sun card again. So um, the feminine got that in her present moment. So the masculine is really feeling illuminated, feeling like it's his time to shine. He feels, you know, happy, free, excited. This also represents a new beginning. So he's seeing things from a different perspective. He's seeing the future is bright and beautiful. Uh, the feminine needs to move away from something negative to release something. Um, she needs to make a decision as well. So this is a pilgrimage. It is, you know, search of self. So it's a withdrawal. What I fe see from the feminine or the masculine is movement forward and consideration, you know, um, making decisions while the feminine is in this you know, she needs to move away from a negative situation or negative energy. She needs to free herself. So this could be releasing your ex, you know, karmic relationship or 
but the message really from spirit is to surrender let go of control just you know allow destiny okay so crowning wow thorta so the divine masculine the feminine is in the present moment near future for the feminine side um so this is you know you guys finding your truth deciding to live your true authentic life um and because it's crowning energy shared between the two sides it's like the feminine sees uh, the masculine for he, who he truly is and mirrors that back to him and so that's how he can see himself and he feels that power that strength within him so one card for the feminine whoa devil and the masculine three of wands so the devil is a codependent relationship an addiction it's a chain holding you back so um that's interesting you know the the only thing that i'm really seeing with this is you know that ten of swords whatever it is needs to be finally released let go of control let go of any self-limiting beliefs um and release any attachments you know codependent relationships or what have you okay so the three wands is what the masculine is bringing in so this is feeling like you're on the right path like you you you're achieving um what you've wanted to accomplish and so spirit is actually giving you a thumbs up saying yes you're on the right path keep going um so that again this has to do with spirituality it's making a decision to follow your higher calling or live your truth and you're starting to to feel like you're you know on the right path for sure okay so heart-centered energy five of swords conflict and defeat so that was this card over here in his past position so you know this is feeling like you've had enough with negative drama negative people negative situations so because it's heart-centered energy shared between the two twins it's a movement forward towards each other um and it's you know away from negativity you can see that all over the reading here same thing on his side away from negativity he's made that decision and he's transforming his life uh and taking that leap of faith whereas the feminine she hasn't fully released something yet but she will okay so one card for the feminine sacral chakra again and masculine wow ten of cups so sacral chakra is coming in the near future so again this is where your emotions are stored um this is your desires your passion um so you desire you know that connection with the masculine and maybe you feel like walking away or giving up on the whole situation or you know the feminine could be stumbling towards the masculine because of negativity um i don't know but i'm going to pull an oak card for that okay so the masculine is bringing the ten of cups wow so another completion a happily ever after um this is harmony peace bliss you know the happy home um, like i said the happily ever after card so the feminine's bringing in the nine of cups and she also holds another cup in her hand so you know in the present moment she is holding the ten of cups and the masculine is also holding the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles is in the future okay so yeah that's beautiful yeah, what I really feel is that both of them are walking away from negativity. I don't think it's, you know, directed towards each other in any way. I don't see that at all in the reading. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Wow, star card, hope. Yeah, wish granted. So you wished upon a star and your wishes are coming true. So this card comes after a very difficult period of time and it offers hope for the future that the worst is over now. And best is yet to come so it's a time to rest heal your heart and regain that energy in order to overcome your obstacles and allow that tower to fall okay so now i'm going to pull two cards
from, I just want to look at this, Nine of Cups again. I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids, and I will read those to you for the final message from the universe. And this one here for the feminine. I'm a dried lake, and I think it was upside down by the way I picked it up. All right, it was all upside down. No, oh, boy, I really gotta organize these. All right, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more for the mask, and yeah, that was upside down. So, um, mermaid picking lotus blossoms. Okay, number thirty-two. Mermaid, oh, actually, sorry. There we go. Hamadraid Lake. The lake, she looks alluring, home to fairy folk and frogs, yet beneath the placid glass lies an enchantress in the bog. She drinks her fill of innocence and saps upon your soul, withering your sense of self until her bowels are full. All right, so in reverse, although you mean, or sorry, let me read the, the meaning. Reflect on your influence over others. So, although you may not realize it, you're being a negative influence on someone in your life. You are leading on a friend or lover or using a patron exclusively for your own gains. Reconsider how far you're willing to go to succeed and get what you desire. So, I guess that goes along with, you know, the devil card and the ten of swords. There's still someone in the feminine's environment that needs to be released and let go. And, um, like I said, once you do, that will open the door for the feminine. So an important communication needs to occur. Something standing in the feminine's way. All right. And number 25. Mermaid picking lotus blossoms. Dreams of purest perfection. Power to exist in the light. Will I live in the world I imagine or dwell in my own endless night? Or is the sanctuary waiting, destined to be my abode? Will I catch the wild fever of wanderlust and journey down curious roads? No matter which path I will walk down, whatever I find I must pay. However much pain is required of me, my gods know that I'm on my way. Beautiful. So in reverse, save for a rainy day. While hoarding is not a healthy or admirable activity, Keeping some material gains in reserve is not a bad idea. It is time to stock up and sorry, stock up on material goods and wealth. You will be confronted with opportunities and to earn extra money. Take these opportunities and put the rewards in a safe place. Invest wisely and focus your on your financial future. So that's kind of what I was picking up. Remember I was saying it feels to me like he's, you know, making decisions, tidying up the last little details. Um so that he can take that leap of faith. All right, so yeah, sorry guys, I'm a little out of practice, my bad, but I tried. Okay, I love you much. Let me know if the reading resonated with you. Peace and love.